Hi, this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. So today we're going to talk about robots. That's right, we're going to talk about some robots that I've been looking at, some I've funded on Indiegogo and I would like to fund. And also talk about Digital Dream Labs and our funding of the Kickstarter campaign for them. So let's take a look at a few different things. So let's start with the first robot I want to talk about, and that is Misa. All right, Misa. Um, I wasn't sure I was going to do anything with Misa when it first hit. I saw it and I thought a couple different things about Misa. You can see Misa right there. Um, and as I, time went on, I was like, what the heck? I'm gonna give it a try. So I funded Misa. The, my first impression was Misa was a little bit childlike with this pastel -y blue and pinky colors. Um, but then again, I started reading some of the specs on it and I was like, okay, this might be worth a shot. So let's see what we can do. So I waited and then I funded Misa. Um, and I see a lot of different things that are kind of Jibo-ish about it. Jibo-ish, if that's a word. And I see a few things that I like and dislike about it. Um, but we're going to go over some of these things. And I haven't got my robot because I delayed it till October. I'm hoping it still comes through. But when you're dealing with something like uh, Indiegogo and Kickstarter, you're not really buying a product. You're supporting a product. You're pretty much giving them a donation. And if you give them a donation, it doesn't mean you're going to get a product out of it. Just know that. I do believe that Misa will make it out of production and we will get a robot. How much a robot, What? how long that robot's gonna work, that's all questionable about the company of Misa. So Misa, the company, that's a question that we have for you. It's product stability and company stability. Those are always the things that you got to look for with a robot. Because look what happened. Jibo, there's tons of them out there that didn't make it to the end game. Or they made it to the game and then they fell short like Anki did. All right, so then, why was the product production delayed a bit? Well, it's due to the wheels on the bottom of Misa. But the wheels on the bottom of Misa they were stuttering so because they had two forward wheels and when the motor powered wheel would move and try to make a turn the front wheels would stutter across the ground so they had this solution right there that's a good solution but the wheels are still very thin and small let's go to the next picture here of Mises wheel so the wheels that they had and the wheels that they came up with very cool if you notice something about the wheels on the bottom of Misa, the drive wheels, they're still very small. So trudging through carpet and trudging through things like that, I don't see that happening. On a solid wood floor, maybe even tile, if there's not too much of a dip in the grout line, you may get what you're looking for in the travelability of Misa's wheels. But I believe I was familiar or I saw something that looked like Misa before. It's not exact. But again, it's very similar to Misa. And that is Little Newton. So here's Little Newton. Um, as you can see, the shape is similar, but there's enough changes in the shape from Little Newton to Misa that makes me less concerned. It looks like they've retooled an idea for Little Newton using somewhat of the same screen size and things of that nature but they've built up the battery power. They've done a lot of different things to change Little Newton into Misa. If you look at the back of Misa and the back of Little Newton, Little Newton's got a speaker in the bottom. And if you look at the back of Misa, Misa's in the head. You can see also on the feet of Misa, they have some cliff detection sensors, but no way to power or to charge on the bottom of Misa's feet. So it looks like we aren't going to have that option. You'll have to charge Misa up. But I think it has a 10,000 milliamp battery in it. So that means some good long battery life, depending on screen usage. Now let's talk about Vector 2.0. I was reading about Vector 2.0 
All right, so we're talking Vector 2.0. So let's talk Vector 2.0, some of the things that they're going to be doing with Vector. Uh, and Vector is going to have an improved battery capacity of 25%. So that should get us to about an hour. Mine runs about 45 minutes or less, depending on the scenario. An easy access battery replacement. That would be a great thing. So I'm going to give Digital Dream Labs a thumbs up there because we want our Vector's batteries easier to be replaced. Even though now I have to buy a new Vector in order to get that feature. Uh, they have a connector, so it makes it easier to place. Increased camera resolution. So we're going to get a better camera in Vector than what our current Vector product has. And they're addressing the heat condensation issue on the LCD screen. So in other words, you're going to probably get an, that issue resolved in Vector 2.0. Cosmo 2.0 is going to get a 30% per, uh, increase in battery and uh, better access to the battery department to replace. Also, uh, the batteries now come with connectors. Allows purchased online at Digital Dream Lab. Uh, increased camera, loose, camera resolution, improved speaker performance, improved gearbox and motor treads, improved gear box design for arm movement, greatly improved proximity sensor upgrade, and higher sense, higher sense resolution. Both will be called Vector 2.0 and Cosmo 2.0 at the time of release. They had some problems with their manufacturers because Anki left a lot of people high and dry. Now Digital Dream Labs is coming through and they're saying, well, wait, we've already been burnt once, twice shy. Well, it was number four that bugged me because there's a new robot called Emo. Uh, they sent a cease and desist order to, Digital Dream Labs sent a cease and desist order to a living AI and that then means they want them to stop because they're talking about product um, infringement. But the first thing I can say is product infringement, let's take a look at this thing. The animation is animation. I'm sorry what you're saying, it's different. If you look at the animation on Emo, uh, yes, there may be a similarity in the shape of the eyes, but eye movement and other animation is not similar to um, anything Vector or Cosmo has. That's one thing. Also on top of it, the other thing I see is that what is wrong with friendly competition? Are you afraid of friendly competition? So you try to squash a up and coming company for a robotic desktop pet. They're not even advertising it the same way that Vector and or Cosmo has been advertised. This is being taken to a totally different step to the right, saying this is a Cosmo, this is a AI pet. Uh, this is a biped uh, robot, not a wheel-based robot, even close to Cosmo or Vector. So it's a biped mo robot. Matter of fact, QB is the closest thing, just saying. And matter of fact, remember, Anki had their own product infringement came out right after they filed bankruptcy, but it was there. So I think Emo is a good idea. I would love to see that company advance. And I think it's a horrible idea on Digital Dreams Labs to take the steps that they took against Living AI. Instead of embracing friendly competition, they're trying to squash friendly competition. Now I'm a huge supporter of Vector. I'm a huge supporter of Cosmo. And I was a huge supporter of Anki, even though I think Anki treated us badly and didn't let us know certain things were going on. I am on the cuff with Digital Dream Labs. I think there's some humor with Digital Dream Labs, but at the same time, I personally am not fond of everything that they've done so far. I'm hoping that they can change my mind, but really and truly cloud enhancements for 15 weeks doesn't really freaking make a big deal to me. I want advancements on my current robot, not cloud enhancements, but overall advancements on my robot. So I don't want to have to say a bunch of different freaking questions to get my advancements. I want to see certain things advance 
naturally within in vector. But again, looking at this in the grand scheme of things, I think uh, Emo and Living AI should have a fighting chance to actually get their product to market and continue to be, be a uh, advancement for other robotic companies that are trying to do the same. Yes, they use a screen. Yes, there's animation on the screen. No, the animation is not the same. So get over it, Digital Dream Labs. Get onto your shit. Get me shit on my robot. I love my vector. I think Anki did some awesome freaking stuff. And I'm waiting for Digital Dream Labs to do some awesome freaking stuff. You might do it with Vector 2.0. If you improved, so that we can pull the battery out easier. Awesome. You got me buying another Vector robot. If you did it for Cosmo, awesome. You got me buying another Cosmo robot because that's one of the things I was looking for. Great, but don't stifle your competition. That's idiotic and disappointing. We went on a dream with Digital Dream Labs when we supported their Kickstarter campaign to get our Oscar and to get our escape pod and I can even justify your subscription because of the way you obtained Vector. You didn't create Vector, but you obtained his rights. So I understand you need funding. So I personally totally get it. You need a subscription for all the Vectors that have been created before because you didn't ever make any money off the ones that made, were previously. They've been just an expense to you. But don't stifle another company that has something similar but not the same. Let's get some friendly competition here. Let's get Misa on the road. Let's get Emo on the road and let's get Vector 2.0 out there so everybody can make a decision because I bet you people want to have a Vector and an Emo and their original Vector on their desktop. So this is Bruce with Huntsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications, share me with a friend and on social media. If you don't like something I said, leave me a comment. If you like something I said, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Vector, Misa, hopefully in October, and Living AI, Emo, I'm hoping in December. We'll see you soon.